Are ready? Good morning, movers. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. In today's workout, we are gonna do another metabolic smash. All right, in my mind, metabolic is basically you push until you can't, rest until you can. Okay, so if you require a little bit more rest than I'm giving you, please pause the video, join me back when you can. All right, so here's your formats, two different formats in today's workout. The first one we're gonna start with is a 30 second circuit, okay? Four different exercises, only 10 seconds in between, so that's gonna get the heart rate up, that's gonna help warm us up to start. Then we're gonna move into the six by six circuit. This, a little bit more difficult. This is where I want you to grab a variety of really heavy dumbbells, okay? You've got four different exercises. You're gonna do them each for six reps and we're gonna repeat it for six rounds, all right? You're also gonna require a really high chair or step. If you don't have one, you can just use a regular step or chair, but then hold dumbbells to make it more difficult for you, okay? Now, because some of this is by rep range, please feel free to pause the video. You can take a look at the workout written down below in the show notes. Um, if you wanted to just do it on your own and then join me back for the timed ones, that's fine. But if you're doing it with me, you might have more reps or fewer reps than I have. Don't worry about it. Just switch when I switch so that we can stay on the same page, okay? All right, I'm not gonna do a warm up for you today because this is gonna be a long workout, but if you wanna do one, go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen. You can follow me along with that one. I will end you with a cool down though, all right? All right, yes, this is exciting and difficult and tricky, but we're gonna do it because we're gonna build muscle, burn fat, and we're gonna do it right now. You are starting with an inchworm push-up, okay? This can be done from the knees or from the toes. Ready, 30 seconds. Let's start. Get down, walk it, walk it, walk it. Give me a push-up, walk it back. Excellent, all the way up. Squeeze glutes at the top. Okay, 30 seconds. You're not gonna have to do too many to start off with, so that's all right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep the intensity high but it's not that long, right? Like with the six reps, that's not that long. That's not horrible. It's your last one, see? And you're done. All right, jumping lunges is next. This will not take long to warm up. Okay, get ready. Here we go, low and switch. Modify this with just a reverse lunge, okay? If you need to modify. You're gonna grab some dumbbells next. You've got a plie squat with a wide shoulder press. Three seconds, two, one, you. Okay, I'm grabbing eights here. Let's take it wide. Wide shoulder press, okay? Low and press, just like that. I don't go too heavy because arms are fighting against gravity, right? Doesn't take long for heart rates to soar, does it? 10 seconds here. One more. All right, set those weights down. We'll move into weighted burpee. I'm gonna grab my 15s. You're just gonna burpee with weights, no jump at the top. Set it down, wide stand. Now, if you need to walk this out, that's your modification. Walk each leg out and then stand. It can also be done without weights. That's uh, round one. Moving into your inch form push up. Three, two, start. No rest for the weary. We're just gonna keep going here. And stand. Then 
Jumping lunges next. All right. Woo. <clears throat> Get ready for the jumping lunge. Let's go. Low. Stay tall in your upper body here. Halfway, come on. This is a hard one. Okay, plie wide. Press, I'm grabbing my eights again. <clears throat> and go. Nice and wide. Your burpees next. And rest. Woo! Those lunges though, right? Getting the ticker ticking. Here we go. Jump nice and wide here. Okay. All right. One more round. Start with that inchworm. Let's go. And down. Bring that chest down to the ground. Make it work. All right, woo! Drop your lunges. Ready? Start here. Let's go. Stay tall. Woo, it burns. Burns the glutes. Burns the quads. Three, two, time. Brutal. Plie shoulder. Let's go. Halfway. Almost there. And done. Okay. Whew. Let's get to that burpee. Woo! It's good, isn't it? Last one, let's go. Drop your glutes low. Squat, then stand. Ten seconds left. Come on. Up. Last. You. Holy Hannah. Okay. Take a water break and join for that six by six circuit.
Here's your four exercises in this circuit right here, okay? So again, six reps of everything, six rounds. I'll keep track. Let's get started. Moving into round one, you're starting with that front squat. You've got six here, keep shoulder width apart, hold the dumbbells in front, take it low, and six. Good. I've got my 20s, two more here, and six. All right, moving to an up-down plank, bear crawl in. So your plank position, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, foot, 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 foot. All right, that's one, you've got six. Here we go for two, three, four, five, six. Step ups are next. All right, six per leg on the highest surface you've got. Ready, let's go. If you don't have a high surface, weight your step up. Step all the way up. Switch legs. Let's go up. One. That was fine. That felt good. Okay, woo! Our fourth exercise here is gonna be squat thrust. I'll take 15s. Squat, big overhead press. Feet shoulder width apart. Let's go. Six. One more. Okay, excellent. Moving into round two with that front squat. Grab your 20s, or whatever rate you got. Let's go. Last one. Nice. Up down plank. Start. Feet in. One more. Okay. Woo. And step ups. Start when you're ready. Pause if you need to. Two. There's six. Switching legs. There's six. Nice. Woo. Squat thrust. 15s, 20s, whatever you can manage. Six reps. Each shoulder width apart. Ready? go. Power. There's six. Nice. All right. Moving into three. Good. Up the nose. Okay. Front squats. Feet shoulder with the Ask to grass. Ready? Let's go. Low and drive. One more. Nice. Up down plank. Bear crawl in. Start. One. Two. 
four. Last one here. And six. Nice. Okay, step ups. It's good, isn't it? Okay. Ready? Think about that working glute. Here we go. Up, tap. Reset it only if you need to. One more here. Woo! Good. Switch. Ready, work. Six, two, five, six. Okay, my hips been sore. That's actually feeling good. I'm happy about that. Squat thrust. Ready? Let's go. Six. Three. One more. Up. Nice. Woo! Heading into four. Now heart rate's starting to climb. Can I take a quick sip? Front squat. You can up or reduce your weights if you need. Ready? Work. Last one. Nice. Going into that up down plank. Ready? Work. Don't forget the legs. Three. Low, low. Four. Five. Last one. Low, low. Bring it in, in. Okay. Step ups. Feels sweaty already. I know me too. Okay, six, drive up, one. Switch legs. There's six. I'm loving that one right now. Feels really good. Squat thrust. Six. One more. That one's the hardest for me. Like, okay, we need to five. What's wrong with this? Nothing. We're having fun, aren't we? Yes, that's the answer. <laughs> okay, bring it. I got my 20s. Drop it for six. Tight tummy. One. One more. Nice. Okay. Up down plank. Start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Lovely. All right, step ups. Here we go. Six. 
six. These bar stools come in handy. Six. Okay. Squat thrust. Ready, start. Don't lean forward, halfway. Last one. I find that I just, on that second one, I was leaning forward to help myself up. Don't do that. Woo! Going into six. Okay. Here we go. Front squats. We have 24 exercises left. Or, yeah, reps. Sit, it's nothing. Ready, work. Last one. Oh, okay, this knee. Okay. Up to down plank. Go. Put in one. Last one here. Yes. Okay. Last step ups. Last time with this. Holy cow. It's hard. Start. One more. Yes. Whew. Last side. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Squat thrust. Okay. Then a break. I think I turn my 20s. When in Rome. Ready? It's only six reps. I might regret it. Here we go. Six. One more. Oh. Mm. Yes. Oh, that was work. Okay, take your well-deserved break. Come back for your next 30 and 10. A little cardio, upper body in this 30 second circuit. One, two, three, four, two squat jumps coming up. Ready? Let's go one, two, three, four, Squat, squat, that's it. One, jab, 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 and stack. I said stack, I don't even know what that is, but squat, jack. <laughs> Keep going, one, two, three, four, low, low. All right, get on the floor, you're gonna do a V-sit punch. I'm gonna grab my fives, sit in a V-sit, abs and shoulders at the same time. Let's go, one, two, just like that. Now, if this feels bad on your tailbone, take it to the ground just like this, okay? Lots of options here. We've got star jumps coming up next. Woo, those are hard. Eight seconds here. Nice. Okay, come to standing. So star jumps. Low jump or jacks like that. Let's go. Kick those legs out. That's it. Hands above the head. 
nice and tall. If you need to modify, go into a jumping jack. Three, two, time. Oh, hard, okay. Arnold press to front press. So you're here, palms facing here. Let's go. This should bring your heart rate down slightly. Nice and slow. Control. I'm only using my fives here. I could lift heavier, but heart rate's up too high. Back to your forward jab, jack. Forward jab, squat. Okay, that's hard. Basically, two minutes of work. Do it again, let's go. One, two, three, four, low, and low. V-sit punches is next. I held that. 
I just started thinking about something else and I was able to. That was hard. This is harder. Ready? Go. last six by six. We're going into round one with a piston push pull. Now, if you have a really heavy dumbbell, feel free to use one. Hold it with two hands like this, okay? If you don't and you have two, hold them together here. Hinge forward, we're doing six. Let's go up for six, five, three, two, and one. Good. Stand. Move into our kneeling hammer curl overhead press. On one leg, whatever leg is up, opposite leg is doing a hammer press. You've got six per side here. Let's go up. Two. I've got my 15 pound dumbbell here. Trying not to tilt my body, but be completely upright and stable when I press it overhead. Last one this side. And switch. Go up, six, four, this is going up pretty easy. Maybe I'll use my 20, two, last one here. Easier when you're just using one dumbbell, right? All right, good, set that down. Moving into a skull pressure, grab your heavy weight. I've got my 20, six right here, and one, three, Four, five, six, good. And your last exercise is a front lunge, weighted front lunge. You're doing six per leg. I'm gonna hold my 15s, 12 in total. Let's go, one. Halfway. I touch my back knee right to the ground if you can. Last one here. Oh, okay, good. Getting ready for that piston push pull. Going into two. Woo! Okay. Not horrible. Hinge forward, weights together, and pull. Five, six, good. Down into kneeling. I'm gonna try my 21 time anyway. Ready? Go. Oh, I don't know, it's heavy. Two, three, work, isn't it? Six here. Two. Keep your elbow tucked in. Three. Four. Five. Six. I don't know. I might go back down to 15 on that guy. That's hard. Okay. Good. Moving into the skull pressure. Again with the 20. 
for 25 or whatever you got. Here we go for six. Three, two, one. Front lunges. Let's go back 15s. 12 in total. Let's go. One. Someone commented, uh, I think it was Tracy, another girl like Tracy, how hard front lunges were compared to reverse. And she's like, how is that? They're the same thing. Not really. Front lunge requires a lot more stability and core strength. Two more here to push yourself up. Requiring a lot more quad as well. So, all right, going into three. Move your mice, roll the dice. Ready? Shoulders back, hinge, up. Two, three, and six. Good. Kneeling. I think I'm gonna stick with my 15 on this. That was hard with the 20. Go, one. Three, four, five, six. Okay, switch sides. Tall. One. Sides way easier. Two. Maybe because you let it rest, but maybe it's stronger. Four. Five. Six. Let's go pressure. Ready? Knee soft. Six. Three. Two. One. Front lunges. This is going by fast this round. One. Halfway, stay tall, five, push through the heel, four to get back up, three, two, last one, low, ugh, brutal. Okay, going into four, ah, I'm a sweaty mess. Okay, piston push pull, shoulders back, hinge, Together and go. Five, six. Oh, kneeling. I'm gonna go with my right side first, see if that makes a difference. Here, one, two, Five, six, it does make a difference. That arm's just fatigued. This one's got to rest. Okay, up. One, two, three, four, five, one more. Six, good. Skull crusher. Ready? Knee soft. Work. Front lunges. And work. 12. Three more, shoulders back. Last one here, low. Oh. Okay, oh, piston some push pull. Okay, going into five, you. Oh. How are you doing? Relatively fair, really good. Let's do it. 
Hinge at the waist, stick your chest out, butt out. Up, six. I'm retracting shoulder blades, but not bobbing my body there, okay? Work. One. Six, switch sides. You might feel like giving up right now, but don't, okay? Building this muscle of finishing something that's difficult is a skill you need in your life in so many other arenas, okay? Do it. It will help increase your self-efficacy, your belief that you are capable, okay? Stay with me, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you felt like giving up but didn't. I wanna hear about it. Here we go. Three more. Two. One. Front lunges. Shoulders back. Start. Stay tall. Seven. Three more, come on, push. Three, two, okay, going into six. Oh, 24 exercises left. Holy Hannah, you guys are doing great. Okay, ready? Let's finish this off with the bang. Here we go, pull. One more. Six, big, kneeling, here we go, one, I'm going to up my weight in my front lunges to the 20s, okay, are you guys going to do that, it's the last exercise, why not, right, five, one more here, up, press, six, good, okay, ready, and up, one, Two, three, four, five, one more here, come on, up, up, six, and down, okay, woo, good, skull crush, er, don't crush the skull, you, you work it out here, here we go for six, Okay, last one. You excited? Grabbing my twenties. Do what you can. Last twelve. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. You're halfway. Come on. Now work for six. Push. Five. Four. Three, almost there, go, go, go. Two, last one, and done. And you, you've done this brutal metabolic smash, and you have moved daily. You, good job, guys. Oh my goodness, who of you are slightly disheveled? Me, <laughs> I am. Uh... Oh, that was good though, hey? Let's lie on our backs, cross the legs, and grab the ankles, lie down. Pull them gently towards you. What a great glute stretch this one is. Oh, oh. I beat red in the cheeks. That was good. Um, could you imagine doing that like again right now? <laughs> that would be brutal, switch sides. I was just thinking as I was cleaning up the weights, like, I'm so excited always to come to a workout. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good. And then afterwards, the thought of actually being able to do it again, which is sometimes why I think we, we always feel amazing when we're done, but sometimes we're fearful to go into a workout because we know that it's work. We know that it's hard, right? So sometimes that can deter us if we're like, ugh, 
I don't, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't want it to be hard today. Switch legs, let's come up into a hamstring stretch here. And I think that's why it's nice to alternate the style of workouts you do. So tomorrow, I'm just gonna film like a straight strength workout or maybe a straight ab workout with no cardio. This felt very high heart rate to me, especially starting off with those jumping lunges. Woo! Switch legs. Um, I'm definitely just gonna do like an upper body strength because I need everything to rest and recoup so that I feel like doing it again, you know what I mean? So it's good to, to switch it up and that's basically what uh, we do, let's put the both feet on the floor, let the knees fall to the side, right here. In, um, in our little organizer YouTube calendars, I have them orchestrated throughout the week so that you have a variety, so that you're hitting all the muscle groups, so you're getting cardio and strength. And uh, if you haven't, if you know what I'm talking about, check the links below. We have, it's called Organizer YouTube Workouts, and we have advanced, beginner, and under 40 minutes for those who need a quick something something. Okay, but also right now currently running is our six week accountability strength program. Let's come to seated and if you, uh, if you haven't taken a look at that, there is, I'll throw a link, a card right up here to our little video that promos it and tells you what it's all about. But let's come into butterfly. All the workouts on there are, um, I, I mean there's, there's a high margin of strength workouts on there. Lots of exclusive workouts that aren't posted on YouTube, so specifically for the program. Uh, and it's all about sculpting your body and aiming to burn body fat so that you have exactly uh, the look that you want. Let's reach across, stretching through the lats here a little bit from that piston push-pull. Anyway, check the link below for that too if you're interested. We'd love to have you. It's a very um, nurturing community over there. So if you need a little like switch sides, accountability and engagement with other humans who are in the like-minded, it's a great environment for that. I've loved the group that I have currently. Um, their private Facebook group is very active and uh, they're, they, they share a lot of what they're doing in their day-to-day day -day, uh, activities, their fitness, their wellness, their nutrition, and it's it's good to see because it helps keep us accountable and it gives us ideas, quite frankly. Let's round through the back, stretch right here. Anyway, you did great today. I enjoyed it, but I'm tired now and now I need to go eat because I'm starving. I haven't eaten for a couple of hours. I was thinking about food actually during the workout. Stretch your chest up and out. I made spaghetti squash with like a ground turkey um, Sauce, last night for dinner, I'm having that for leftovers. Love the spaghetti squash, it's a handy little treat. And then I, my, I made pasta for the other parts of the family, the other parts, my husband and daughter, like gluten-free pasta they like. And uh, see, you can, you can satisfy everyone. What did it take to make a little spaghetti squash for me, made the sauce, and then now I've got leftovers, it's perfect and easy. All right, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And like I was saying, here's a great strength workout that I would maybe recommend for tomorrow's workout, something upper body. So go ahead and click or tap the screen right there, save it to your own workout playlist, and uh, here's a link to that accountability program. So go ahead and click or tap right there. See you guys in the next workout.